Hi everyone, welcome to another question and answer session. A 21 years old postman noticed leg pain after 5 minutes walking during his round. It improves 3 minutes after stopping. Clinically, he is noted to have reduced hair in the lower limb and his calf muscle appeared atrophied. There is weak popliteal pulse but it is still present when the knee is fully extended. What is the most likely diagnosis? So it is one of the long question and we have to find out the key points from the question. First of all, we can see a 21 years old man, old postman, notice leg pain after 5 minutes walking and it improves 3 minutes after stopping. So this point is important. That means after 5 minutes, you develop leg pain but 3 minutes after stopping, improves. So there is no highly pathological condition and there we can see clinically he is to have reduced hair in the lower limb and the calf muscle atrophied. So these two signs reduce hair of the lower limb and calf muscle atrophied, atrophied they are the feature of nutrition deficiencies and then we can see there is weak popliteal pulse but popliteal pulse present. So this point is very very important popliteal pulse is very weak or weak that means the proximal flow is reduced by any how by any pressure or by any means and it present when knee is fully extended that means in flexed position there is reduced blood supply what is the most likely diagnosis so here the option option are occlusive arterial disease caused by atherosclerosis popliteal fossa entrapment cerebral vascular accident diabetes mellitus adductor canal compartment syndrome so we have to find out one of the option which is compatible with this answer so here in this picture first of all we can see uh, this is the femoral triangle this triangle this is the femoral triangle you can see here so here first of all this is the femoral triangle here Femoral triangle, then we can see this is the adductor canal, and finally the popliteal fossa. In the second picture, we can see this is the femoral triangle, which is 10 cm long and it is the first part of the thigh. Then we can see at the apex of the femoral triangle, there is stretching of the adductor canal, and adductor canal finally reaches into the popliteal fossa through the adductor hiatus. And finally, we can see a diamond shaped space. This is the popliteal fossa so uh, in the question uh, they found that the femoral uh, the popliteal pulse weakness in the popliteal fossa when the when it is flexed but when it is extended the popliteal pulse is normal so obstruction occurs proximal and we can see femoral triangle it is a large and broad area so there is no chance of compression of the femoral artery and we can see the adductor canal it is a fascial tunnel so there is a chance of entrapment of these vessels in this picture we can see the from the outer uh, common iliac artery then we can see superficial femoral and deeper uh, femoral, uh, femoral superficial femoral reaches into the adductor hiatus and finally reaches the popliteal fossa and then it goes to the lower leg, other area of the leg so in here pulse reduce in here so the obstruction should be proximal and here we can see this is the popliteal fossa and popliteal artery here so obstruction occurs proximally into the adductor canal because adductor canal is a fascial channel and there is every sense of rise pressure here so our final answer it is the adductor canal compression syndrome because uh, due to adductor canal compression syndrome there is a less blood flow to the leg and there is the reduced hair and muscle are atrophied and weak pulse when flexed knee because when knee is flexed these areas pressure increases so there is pressure on the superficial femoral artery in the adductor canal so our answer is adductor canal compression 
symptom and other options such as the occlusive arterial disease if occlusive arterial disease then symptom uh, persists there is no symptom interval or symptom reduce here we can see after three minutes of stopping symptom reduce but in case of arterial disease there will not clinical feature improve then popliteal fossa entrapment uh, it is not true because popliteal fossa is not uh, in case of popliteal fossa uh, there will be distally arterial compromise then cerebral vascular accident it is not true because cerebral vascular accident uh, it also is a permanent clinical symptom then diabetes mellitus it also the chronic clinical fissure and suddenly back will not be possible so our final answer is adductor canal compression syndrome thank you